Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Eddie G, with another Photoshop tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you another easy and simple text effect that's going to allow you to take text and carve it into any item like wood or stone to have your final document look just like this. Okay guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you a text effect here in Photoshop that's going to allow you to add any text to an object and make it look like it's engraved into that object. So first of all, we need to have a new document set up and it's going to be 1920 by 1080 because if you've watched any of my tutorials in the past, you know I just like to work in the standard high definition format. So if we're going to be engraving text into a piece of material, we need to bring in a piece of material. So I'm going to go ahead and import this nice light colored piece of wood. Now, of course, this is a text effect tutorial, so we're going to need some text. So I'm going to come over here and grab my text tool, and I'm just going to type out the word carved. Now, I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger so everybody can see it, and it's going to make it look nice when we get it all fixed up and done in this tutorial. So I've got it basically centered in my document. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come over here to the carved text layer, and we're going to change the style from normal, and we're going to change it to multiply. Now, the reason that we do that, and you can see the text is actually vanished, that's because we're going to do a lot of different layer options and layer styles to this text. So how do we do that? We come back over here to our carved text layer and we double click out here in the empty space, which is gonna bring up your layer styles panel. So the first layer style that we're actually gonna do is we're gonna do a bevel and emboss. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the bevel and emboss layer style on. So the way that you wanna set this up is on the style, you wanna make this an outer bevel because if you do an inner bevel, it's gonna reduce the, the look of the text and it's not gonna look the way that we want it to look. So we're gonna change this to outer bevel. The technique, we're gonna do chisel hard. Now the depth, depending on the text or the font that you actually use, is gonna be different. So you can come over here and you can really, really raise it up or you can really, really bring it down. It all depends on the text or the font that you're using. I've settled on about 125% for my depth. Now your direction is gonna to need to be up. The size, again, is gonna be determined on what text or font that you used. So you can come over here, I've got mine set to 10. You can take it up, but you see the bigger that you get, the more ridiculous it actually looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that set to 10. The soften is gonna be set to zero. Now, when you come down here to the shading, you wanna make sure that your angle, again, this is gonna be a little bit different depending on what text or font that you use, but I've got mine set at negative 45 degrees. My altitude, you probably wanna keep it around 30 degrees. The highlight mode, you wanna to set to overlay and make sure that your color is set to white. I've got the opacity set all the way to 100%. In the shadow mode, you're gonna to wanna to change to multiply. Make sure that your color is set to black. And again, your opacity is gonna be 100%. So this is gonna be the layer style for your bevel and emboss. Now the next one that we're gonna look at is we're gonna turn on the inner shadow. So for the blend mode in your inner glow here, I'm sorry, your inner shadow, is you wanna make sure that your blend mode is set to multiply and your color is set to black. Now again, the opacity, I've got mine set to about 85%, but you could come in here and play with this and get the exact look that you want. So I'm gonna bring this back up to about 80, 85%. Let's go ahead and set it back to 85 because I like that look. Now the angle, you wanna make sure that it's set to 90 degrees. And I've actually, for this tutorial, I've actually left the check use global light on. Now again, the distance, the choke, and the size of your inner shadow are actually going to be a little bit different, again, depending on the font or the text that you use. So I've got mine set the same all the way down. So for distance, I went with 15 pixels. For the choke, I went for 15%. And the size, I also went to 15 pixels. So the next layer style that we're gonna look at is we're gonna add a, col a color overlay to this text. Now, you can come in here and you wanna make sure that you make a couple of different adjustments. One, the blend mode needs to be set to overlay. You wanna make sure that the color again is set to black. And depending on the look and the feel that you're going for, you can come in here and play with the opacity. I've got it set somewhere around 55%. You can come in here and you can make it less, 
You can make it more depending on how you want your carved text to look. Now, actually, now that I'm playing with it, I kind of like it a little bit darker. So I'm going to make mine about 65%. Now, the next layer style that we're gonna look at is we're gonna do a gradient overlay. And that's gonna give it that really, really deep, almost like we're looking at this as carving this into wood. So on the gradient overlay, you wanna make sure that your blend mode is set to multiply. You wanna make sure that the dither box is unchecked and the opacity set it to around 30%. Now, when you come in here to the gradient, you wanna make sure that you're going from black to white and you wanna take your, so when you have your first gradient set up, it's gonna look like this. So you wanna drag this white, and that's basically gonna give you this outer look. So I've got mine set to about right in the middle at about 50%, and I think that looks good. So it's got the dark at the top, and it's gonna have the light at the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK to that. Now, when you have the gradient set from white to black, you wanna make sure that it's checked to reverse because you want the dark portion of the gradient to be on top of the text and the light portion of the gradient to be on the bottom. The style we're gonna to set to linear and we're gonna check the box that says align with layer. Now the angle you wanna to set to 90% and the scale, you could come in here and play with that to get the look that you want. I like mine right at about 100 I don't know, let's see what it looks like at about 125%. No, I like it set to about 100. So I'm gonna leave my scale set to 100. So now we've done four layer styles to this carved multiply text. We've done a bevel and emboss. We've done an inner shadow. We've done a cover, a color overlay and a gradient overlay. Now, if we click on okay, we come back to our document and you can see that this text look like, looks like it's carved into our background. So guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful and beneficial. If you did, make sure to click that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next video.